everybody. So today is a cold, rainy June day. The lighting is bad, so I'm using artificial light. And I um, started off today and I made some tags. So I made some of these window magnetic journaling tags. <coughs> and then I had to do some errands. And while I was out doing my errands, I thought, oh, my local antique store is open today. So I went to the antique store and they have two different places within the store. One's in the barn where they have dollar books. And they have rooms upstairs with lots of books and some are a little bit more. So I bought a ton of books today and I didn't spend very much money at all. And I thought I would do a haul video. So let me take a sip of my tea to warm myself up on this cold, blustery day. So I've got to reach over because I have a tiny little desk and this is a big box. So this is the first thing that I got. This is the Columbia Encyclopedia in one volume. Look how thick that is. Look at those tabs. So this is just, look at the color of the pages. This is just so exciting. Let me see. So its publication date is 1935. So it's a little bit past that magic date of 1928 where I could scan it in and use the digital images, but that's okay because look at these amazing pages. How many? Let's see, that's 1,800, 1,945. It has just got 1949. So it's got almost 2,000 pages. So that's my first exciting. This was a dollar. So that's one exciting book. Um, Here's another exciting book. The Ideal Home Music Library, Light Piano Pieces. So it is a whole book of music paper. And look, it's already aged. It already has that fabulous kind of yellowed colored edges and paper. And it's got several with nice, oh, look how dotty that is. Those are good. So I'm very excited about that one. The um, spine itself is very good, but I could fix that and probably use the cover for something as well. So there's that. There's this one that I'm very excited about. One of my loves is maps, and this is a Hammond Standard World Atlas, and this was in the dollar section. And this is from... Um, I'm not sure when this was from, but I've used these in the past, but this is the, a larger version of the one that I've used, and it's just beautiful. Look at these gorgeous pages. I mean, the colors. I love this kind of classic map color. Switzerland and Liechtenstein. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, what's this? It's got a little postcard in it. Okay. So that's another find that I'm very excited about. It's got some stats, so that'll be going into some journals. And these, and I bought let's see a bunch of these golden books. I haven't tried using any of these golden books yet. That's for later. Um. But I know you, uh, they're very popular. So there are two that I'm going to keep for myself. Wonders of Nature and Birds. Because that's kind of my thing, is nature journals. So maybe I'll try doing a little golden book nature journal. Look how cute these are. Very cute. And then the Wonders of Nature has also has some really sweet illustrations. So I'm gonna use those ones, but then these, Busy Timmy, Hansel and Gretel, The Christmas Story, Where Did the Baby Go? 
Jenny's new brother, my snuggly bunny, prayers for children, and so big. <laughs> I can't help but say it that way. Um, those will go up on my Etsy site. As will these. So these, actually let me move these off. So I've noticed some people really like these um, five ring cookbooks. Um, Gail Agostinelli just did a beautiful 50s journal um, with the with one of these um, and I saw it and I thought you know I'll just put this in my Etsy site because I I while I, I see the why they're fun it's not my thing but I just got it because I thought you guys might like it and together with that I'll also list this better heart homes and gardens holiday cookbook which actually has these wonderful retro images I mean they are just hysterical oh my goodness they're just too much look at that so that and then I also found this that I launched a list with it the housewife's almanac a book for homemakers and it's from 1938 so this is very old but it's in quite good condition the cover is off it a little bit but look at that, Kellogg's All Brand. All Brand Recipes. It's fun to keep regular. <laughs> I mean, this is just hysterical. So I will list this in my, in my Etsy site as well. So that will be up for grabs. And then I got two more books that are gonna be for me. Um, one is The Water Babies. So this is a darling little book about um, water fairy tales. Um, I have, ha I have a, a fairy kind of journal cooking in my head. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that illustration. Is that in frame? So this is... This is, I think, might be part of that. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness, look at that. So the, the um, publication date on this is 1922. So I can um, scan these and share these images. So that will be a project for me for the summer. As will this. This is the Nature Library. Look at that cover. I just, just love this cover for a nature journal. Absolutely thrilled. So this one was a little more expensive. This was not in the one dollar, but but 1927. It is um, older than that magic date where you can. Uh, it's copyright free. And this also, see, has beautiful images. Mountain sheep, antelope, pronghorn, look at the caribou. So this was a good find. So this summer I will be working on scanning all of these images from these some of these books that I've, treasures that I found at my one dollar room thing at the, <laughs> the weasel, um, at my favorite little local um antique shop so you know leave me if you have books that you want to find or topics or things that you're looking for leave them in the comments and i'll keep my i'll keep a list and i'll keep my eyes open at this wonderful wonderful antique store with the nicest people and a lot of the items that they sell go to a local shelter for cats it's just they're the nicest people so that is my haul I hope you have a lovely day. I hope your weather is better where you are than where I am. Bye-bye.